Hey boys and girls, this is Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell's Math. Today we're going to be talking about solving volume equations. All right, solving volume equations. So our essential question or what I want you to know by the end of this video is how do you write equations to solve problems involving volumes of rectangular prisms? Okay, so we know what to do with volume because we learned that in the last video. And if you remember correctly, volume for a rectangular prism is volume equals length times width times height. All right. And that's it. That's if you know the formula, all you have to do is plug in any values that you're given and then solve for whichever one you don't know. We've done this before with area. OK, area of trapezoids, area of rectangles, area of, of, of it doesn't matter what the area is. We, we plugged in what we knew, and then we solved for what we didn't. Okay, so let's look at a couple examples. It's nothing really new to learn here. This is just kind of going over what we, what we already know. All right, so here we have um, Samuel. And Samuel has an alien ant farm with a volume of 375 cubic inches. So we know our volume. All right, it says the width of the ant farm is two and a half inches and the length is 15 inches. What is the height of Samuel's ant farm? Okay, so let's, let's start by writing our formula. Volume equals length times width times height. And then plug in what we know. All right, we know our volume is 375. So 375 gets substituted for V, which represents volume. Okay, the width of the farm is two and a half inches. Okay, so I have 2.5, and the length is 15. So I have 15 here. I'm going to multiply those two numbers together as well as by the height. But I don't know the height. That's what I'm looking for. That's what it asked me right here. What is the height of Samuel's ant farm? That's what I need to find. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is multiply 15 times 2.5. So I'm going to come over here because I don't know what that is off the top of my head. 15 times... 2.5, 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2, 5, 6, 7, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, and I don't know if I'm, yeah, I'm going behind my, my, my screen again, I'm sorry, it doesn't show up on my iPad, so basically what I came up with is, wow, 375, is that right? No, wait, ah, ha, ha, I didn't use my decimal. All right, so I got 37.5. Man, that messed me up for a second there. All right, 375 equals 37.5. Remember to use your decimals, guys. All right, times H. So 37.5 times H equals 375. So you may be able to look at it and say, oh, I know what that is already. And if you do, that's great. Okay, then you're, you're starting to get the hang of this stuff, this, this crazy thing we call math. So, um, but if you don't, we can still figure it out. Okay, and this is how you do it. Since I'm multiplying 37.5 times H, I have to undo that multiplication in order to find out what H is worth. i got to get H by itself. That's my goal here is to get H by itself. So since I'm multiplying 37.5 times h, I have to divide to undo that multiplication. And I divide by 37.5. But I have to do the same thing over here, 37.5. Okay, what happens is these two simplify to 1. And then 1 times h is simply h. Okay, but now I got to work with this number here and say, what is 375 divided by... 37.5 okay well I tell you what well let's go I'll give you a hint it's 10 okay it's 10 because what we do is we move this decimal we move this decimal all right 375 goes into 375 one time and then it won't go into zero so we'll wind up with 10 so the height on this um, ant farm is 10 and we'll say inches tall Okay, and that's it. That's all there is to it, guys. Okay, I know I make it sound easy, but it, it really is. All right, all you have to do is, is, is practice. Okay, so here we have another problem. It says find the height of this rectangular prism, which has a volume of 15 sixteenths cubic feet. Okay, so nothing changes. I have volume equals length times width times height. 
I know my volume is 15 16 it doesn't matter if it's a, a fraction or not okay um, I know I can use either one of these I'm looking for the height so I'm going to say the length is three quarters and I'm going to multiply that times the width which is one half and then I multiply that times the height which I don't know okay so the first thing I want to do is um, multiply these two numbers together so I'm going to have 15 over 16 equals 3 times 1 is 3 and then 4 times 2 is 8 times the height okay so now this is this is a little tricky but it's not impossible okay so what I want to do here once again because I'm multiplying 3 eighths times h I have to use division to get rid of it to undo it okay so if I divide both sides by 3 eighths make this really big okay so I'm going to change the way this looks as this looks a little daunting but it's really not that difficult okay but this 3 eighths and this 3 eighths basically cancels all right it leaves me with just h so I got to solve this part of the equation 15 16 divided by 3 eighths so I'm going to rewrite it in a, in a form that looks more familiar so I'm going to say 15 16 divided by 3 eighths now this looks a little bit better this is the kind of stuff we practice in class okay now if you remember back to our fractions chapter and it says in order to divide fractions we change it we did that and I know some people are gonna gonna flip out when they watch this people that aren't in my class and they're gonna say "Ooh, why are we teaching them this you know but it, it works okay we do the KFC method all right it's a little quick little acronym to help you remember what to do we keep this first fraction 15 16 we flip the second fraction to 8 over 3 and then we change from a division problem to a multiplication problem now we can go ahead and and and, and multiply okay so first I'm going to simplify I'm going to simplify the third the 3 and the 15 all right they're both divisible by 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 15 divided by 3 is 5 and I can also simplify 16 and 8 they're both divisible by 8 8 divided by 8 is 1 16 divided by 8 is 2 okay so I'm going to multiply these two numbers together and then I'm going to put my answer right over here okay that's where I'm going to put my answer so 5 times 1 is 5 and then 2 times 1 is 2 so 5 halves equals my height but I can also I can simplify this um, to what uh, it simplifies let's go ahead and simplify it over here and say that uh, I divide 5 by 2 that'll go in two times with one left over so my actual answer is two and a half okay five halves two and a half same thing all right simple uh, next problem now this one's a little trickier this is a two-step problem okay it says here we're getting this little um, caveat right here at the beginning it says one cubic foot of water weighs approximately seven and a half gallons uh, or I'm sorry one cubic foot of water equals approximately seven and a half gallons and weighs approximately 62.43 pounds okay so that's just that tells you what some information that you're going to need to solve the problem but here's the actual problem all right it says the classroom aquarium holds 30 gallons of water it is 0 0.8 feet wide and has a height of two feet find the length of the aquarium okay so gallons in this particular case doesn't help me all right I have to find out I need to find out how many cubic feet okay because my I'm looking for dimensions in feet here so I got to find out what the cubic footage is of the water and it tells you that one cubic foot of water equals approximately seven and a half gallons okay and weighs approximately 62.43 pounds all right that part isn't that important but what, what I have to know is, is that this aquarium holds 30 gallons and that um, each cubic foot holds uh, is, is seven and a half gallons so if I divide 30 by 7.5 that'll tell me how many cubic feet of water that'll give me the volume basically of the uh, of the aquarium so 30 divided by 7.5 is going to give me four cubic feet okay so I'm gonna say four cubic feet so now I know what the volume is of my aquarium so I can say volume equals length times width times height I know my volume is four it says my length is um, well I don't know the height I'm looking for the length okay so I'm gonna keep my L my width is 0 0.8 so I'm multiplying those two together and then my uh, height of 2 okay so I'm gonna go ahead and multiply 0 0.8 times 2 and I'm gonna get 4 equals and I'm gonna go ahead and switch these around because I always like the variable to come after the number after the, after the um, coefficient so that's gonna be 1.6 times L okay 
Still, same thing as the last problem, we're multiplying, so I have to undo it by doing division. Okay, I'm going to divide 4 by 1.6. These are going to cancel and give me just L. All right, and then 4 divided by 1.6 is going to give me 2.5. All right, so that is the length of my aquarium. And that's all there is to it, guys.